Holy shit, it is about time I did an unboxing video. And it's about darn time I started being more myself on camera. I gotta say, over the years I've been so careful about what I've said for the kids and for everybody over the years. And of course, it just kind of takes away from the natural edge I have. And I like being me overall. So here I am, I figured every year I do new equipment for gold or you know that kind of idea for YouTube gold in the past it was like a lot of new equipment um, and f the equipment for me was stuff that I've always wanted uh, and I mean for the entire time I've had this hobby you know we all have different desires we all have the different things we've wanted but it takes us a long time to save up and to get um, enough together so we can get the products we want and the misconception is I'll address this right now is that I get everything for free. But I'll tell you, YouTube Gold was one of my biggest cost centers ever done in the history uh, of RC Adventures. Like, it, it was just, it just cost in every single way. But it was so much fun to do, and that's the amazing thing about it. Now, don't get me wrong, I have had some products given to me in the past, uh, for sure, for the show, but that's what happens when you get millions of views on your videos, or thousands of views even. You can work towards different levels of partnerships. I call it working partnerships, because sponsors are just wanting you to use product to get seen, but if you're, if, if those people are, are wanting you to do specific uh, uh, videos or things like that, that's a working partner. But I digress. What I have in the box today is something I have wanted for so long, but I've had to save up for a very long time so I could get it, and I want to look inside. I ordered this from uh, Eagle Mock uh, online. You guys can Google it if you want. It's like... It's, it's hard because you guys are like, I want the, the link for where uh, you get all your products. And then everybody else is like, oh, you got it sponsored. That's why you're dropping names. So it's kind of a fucked if you do, fucked if you don't thing. And if you don't like my language and my new style of show, I'm sorry. I'm glad you enjoyed the shows before. Uh, but really, there's not enough realness in this world. And I'm just kind of shooting from the hip these days and fucking giving it to you the way it is. Because that's the way it's always given to me. So in the box, I ordered a new uh, excavator. I also ordered a couple of extra um, accessories for the stuff I have. I had a lot of um, stuff damaged in transit because I was an idiot and I bought a beautiful trailer to transport all my heavy duty equipment in, uh, all my RCs, when I went on a 5,000 kilometer journey, 11 days across the country to our new location. Uh, and thinking I was an absolute genius in buying a trailer, I was gonna put my side-by-side -side inside, which I did, and I used four wheel straps. Put all my heavy duty equipment underneath the razor, like an idiot, bad choice. And when I went over bumps, of course, the suspension fucking acted like a jackhammer on some of my equipment. My bulldozers took a beating, my excavator took a beating, the big Johnson there took a huge beating in one of my dump trucks. Um, so I had to start ordering in new equipment because it's not just about the show. I thoroughly enjoy um, the RC hobby and the mining aspect of it. That's why I do the shows that I do. I've been doing RC construction equipment for, God, since 2013, I think. And I want to get into RC logging, right? Everybody else has been like, you should get into RC logging and farming. But in the prairies where I lived, I couldn't do that before. Don't worry, I'll put chapters in so you guys can just skip through all my blatherings. Some of the viewers, though, ask me to, to do as much as possible. So here I am. Oh, yes. This is going to have a hydraulic rotating arm <gasps> pre-installed yes okay so i did order some accessories i wonder if they're in here at the same time oh, da, 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 da. son come on out here and look at this okay. i know you want to have a look i can see you in the background what's up bud hello say hi to all the viewers out there hello all the viewers yeah man what do you think come on over here i haven't seen this yet either I got it in the color of white. So you could spray paint it? No, because it would match the Cabelco loader that I have, the wheel loader. That's a nice claw. Dude, there, this is actually That's a grappling so nice. hook. Yes, look at that. Already assembled. 
Looks like um, one of the lights popped off there, but that's not a big deal. That's just a cover for the light. Holy cow. So this model itself, um, US, I believe was uh, 3,800, 3,850. And this is different from my extra uh, uh, other excavators. This one actually has an expanding arm here where there's this ram is different. So the main boom is not a fixed piece like my other one. It's actually hinged here and then it has this ram. Quick couplers right here. Whoa! <laughs> that spooked me. Yeah, well, it squirted all out, man. I don't uh, think I was ready for that. You weren't nope. ready for that. I already said. Yeah, man, I know. Okay, well, I'm going to get it unboxed. You run inside. What kind of game are you playing right now? Which video game is your favorite that you are playing at this moment? At this moment? Yep. I wasn't playing any video game, but the oldest one that I had was a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. Um, like about 20 minutes ago, I gotta say, what are and you? it was yeah. Lego Ventures Slip Po 2. Nice. And what have you and I been playing? Minecraft Dungeons. Nice job. Okay, bump it. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> see, YouTube has made it. If I have Morris in my show for too long, then I have to mark it made for kids. But, you know, how am I supposed to find a happy balance for adults and family uh, stuff with the YouTube rules, right? Y'all can criticize and chastise me for my language and the way I've been doing it, but after 13 years, I've been around the, the block a few times on YouTube, that's for sure. Man, I got the friggin' excavator I wanted! It's been a long time coming, man. There's only one left on my uh, list that I could really use, and I don't want to. I don't want to blow that for you yet. But I'll let you know that I've got to build it. Look at this. What a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. And here is another piece that I ordered for it. That You can see that they had to cut out the styrofoam because of the order. I haven't seen this at all yet except online. Oh my god, it's so much he- Oh yeah, it's so much heavier than I thought it would be. That, 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 that's what she said. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What you're looking at, guys, is a hydro, uh, not a hydraulic, an electric breaker, right? I needed to have a breaker, um, and I've been wondering, I see these on RC Four Wheel Drive, the website, I've seen it on a few other websites, and I wondered, you know, because no one can ever tell the, ha the size of your hand, uh, but I wondered how big the breaker bar was. Look at that. It's, this must weigh at least, no, about 10 pounds. And that is a huge nail on the end, about larger than the size of my pinky. What the hell do I have that you guys would know immediately? Uh, bottle, yeah, that's one of my fish finders. We'll go over that. That's like a one liter bottle. Oh, dude, look at that. That's how large that is. It's, this is huge. So bang, 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 bang. I've got some asphalt and stuff around here that I want to get uh, taken care of. And then I have the coupler, and I also have the hydraulic um, crimpers that I ordered, cutters, um, which is probably in there, I'm assuming. I don't know, but that one's gonna go on my original 4200 XL that I got from RC Four Wheel Drive. Amazing. I know absolutely nothing about this, but I knew as soon as I got it, you guys would want me to unbox it with you. Some of you could care less, but there are many people that usually ask me to do this. <gasps> Let's discover it together. There's fuses. That's amazing. Look at the on off switch. The wiring is beautiful. Unpainted tracks. Oh, this, this is moving. Is this loose? Man, I gotta find out what... You should, you should find out first before you turn on the camera. Well, shut up. <laughs> That's the beauty about YouTube. Anybody who's making an RC video and taking the time to share their creation with you, you know, just leave them. Let them discover, let them do what they want. So much division and controversy these days. You know, I only have so many fucks in a day to give. Uh, and, uh, you know, on someone making an RC video I don't like, that's not one of them. Woo wee! Da -na 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 -na. This is one of my most exciting parts because I haven't fired this up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get out the radio, which I think is probably right here. 
Oh, I hear metal in there. Oh, you guys want to know too. Hold on. Where is the radio? So my entire order from the site was like five grand US. Oh yes. Oh yeah, there's cutters. Five grand US plus import fees into Canada. And I'm in Nova Scotia now. And I'm just getting settled with my family. Look. Holy shit. These are way bigger than I thought. Wow, there's so many places for innuendo here. As is the RC hobby. Guys, this is stunning. Wow. So this is the coupler on the end. This is a jaw crusher. I've got to say, I, I thought this is a cutter. It looks like it's just going to grab but I still have to figure out 100% how this works. They sent me an email to make sure that I knew that I was ordering a claw for a different machine other than the one I have. Now, one thing I noticed is that there was supposed to be a pin here. Is there a pin here? Hmm, I might be missing one here. That's okay, I'll try to figure that out. And if I am, um, I'm sure they'll send another one ASAP or I'll be sending that piece back. Here, this is one of the accessories that come with it. A pretty decent ripper blade that comes with this particular model and then the two buckets come with it as well I also ordered a small uh, pump valve uh, just for one of my other excavators so I could maintain and know exactly what the hydraulic pressure is. But here are the two buckets. Nothing too crazy, but you know what? I love this because this reminds me of the Siberian tooth uh, bucket for the uh, XL4200. Uh, this is just painted black. So those are removable teeth, replaceable teeth I should say, and same with that one. So that's cool, extra hydraulic line. Anything else on the back? Nothing on the back. Uh, radio's gotta be on the other side. Where's the radio? Radio! Ah yes. Careful examination shows that I was missing two thumb screws. This must be how we remove the top to access the battery panel. Do they come right out? One. Two. <laughs> How did that not come right off? <laughs> There's two on the bottom, right here. I could feel it. Ah, that makes more sense how the back opens then. Ooh wee, check it out. There is the hydraulic pump motor right there. Oh my God, look at the capacitor. And then this must be where the battery goes, clearly. I'm gonna say it's a three cell, sits in the back here, probably 5,000 milliamp hours. This is gonna be for the hydraulic pressure. I'm surprised it doesn't have a somewhat of a better knob on there. I'm gonna ask about that to see if that's supposed to be like that. But I think we should put a battery and check out the radio. It's not the normal fly sky that I thought it was gonna be. It is a radio link and it looks like it's been, look at this, the hammer, they even showed where the hammer switch is installed. Yes, so cool. So when I ordered the hammer, they pre-installed it to test it. That is super cool. A lot of people have been asking me for a long time, where do I get my heavy duty machinery? Um, there's a lot of places you can get it online. AliExpress is one, RC4 Wheel Drive is another, uh, Eagle Mach is another. You can find all these places are Googleable. Uh, <laughs> that's a word these days. Uh, but be prepared, they are very, very expensive. The XL4200 from Eagle Mach is a very good machine, uh, but it's certainly not as advanced. Look at the, t look at these right here, the teeth on here, hey? Unbelievably beautiful and it spirals around. This is going to be a nice piece with the Komatsu, um, the wheel loader I have. Okay, let's, let's get the battery in. Let's get it fired up. 
Okay, I just grabbed a quick battery that I knew was charged. This is a 2200 3S battery. Bummer on the radio uses eight uh, double A's. Normally the FlySky ones I use only use uh, four, um, but who knows, maybe it's because of the number of channels on here. Maybe it needs a bit more juice. Uh, that's the excuse I'm giving them at least. <laughs> I don't know the actual reason, but plug it in, make sure the polarity is correct. Boom. And you guys could be like, I'm saying like I should be upset about this pin missing. I was thinking about that. I've been in this game a long time. And no, this isn't a broken piece. That's just a piece I put there. Um, you said no, saying you're paying this much money, you should expect it all to be there. And I agree, but that's just not how the world works anymore, is it? And I could be pissy all day about it and fucking make complaints, but it ain't gonna get me anywhere, really. So is that on? I heard it beep. Did it, are those dead batteries? What the? Let's try it again. What, nothing? Maybe I got the polarity wrong. No. <sighs> Real life problems that really don't affect anybody or matter. <laughs> I'll just get some other batteries. Maybe I got bad ones. Okay, new ones. A lot of people in my recent videos, in uh, my gold videos have been saying, oh, you should stop smoking. And uh, they keep forgetting that I have a shitting disease and that weed is legal in my country, especially as a medicine. And uh, when you have Crohn's disease and you have problems with your intestines, it really does help. So, thanks for the advice, but I'm good. Okay, so this is on, ready to rock. <laughs> Let's do this. <clears throat> We're unsubscribing, you curse too much, you do whatever, you whatever, whatever, I'm not good enough, whatever. There's no sponsors, man. There's no one to sponsor, there's no one to lose. You know, I've been doing this on my own for a long time, and if you don't like it, that's cool, you can change the channel. I get it. Oh my god, I just totally sounded like a Tom McDonald song. That's very close. <laughs> what? You like Tom McDonald? I'm unsubscribing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's like seven billion people in the world. My shit will get seen anyway. Okay. He's so arrogant, I'm unsubscribing. Ugh. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's endless. The noise is endless. Do your life because you enjoy it. That's all I gotta say about that. Do what you enjoy in life. As long as you're not hurting anyone else and, you know, do what you're doing, in, in my humble opinion. That's why I've been doing this hobby for so long. It brings me joy. It brings me like a counseling session except for when I can't get these fucking screws in the hole. There we go. I used to let my kid watch you. Okay, awesome. Thanks. The world's changed, man. I've changed. I'm not going to be the same year after year after year. I would hope you're not either. Okay, this might be ready to go, gee whiz. I see how it screws on in the back now, awesome. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Everything's on, and then, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Sweat in the eye, it hurts like a son of a bitch. <sighs> what do I do first? What do I do first? Okay, it has to have a switch. It's not mixed. That would be a, a mix, I would think. Okay, there's the rotation. Where is the pump? There's the pump. Oh, nice. Okay, hold on. I see it's just scratching my cab a bit here, so I'm just trying to move the claw a bit. Maybe we should move it out, there we go. Wow, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to because it, look at that arm. It's like a, it's like a 90 degree arm. Super cool. Yeah, I'll put you on my leg there. Let's see if I can straighten this out. Oh, that is nice. So how do I get that to come out? There we go. Oh, I'm missing a bit of oil, and the reason why is it's probably, it's probably the, um, 
where I uncoupled it there. Oh, oh no, that's awesome. It had a zip tie on there and it was blue and I totally forgot. Oh my God, look at this. It was powerful enough, I would hope, to break through it. on freaking real. I'm loving it. So smooth. Okay, what about... Oh, nice. Oh my God, guys, check this out. I'm turning off the pump. Look on the back of the radio. Boom, a joystick right there and a joystick right there. That is how you move the tracks. I just discovered it with you. That is so cool. Oh my God, it looks like a dinosaur. Look at how it's sitting there. Like it's gonna go chomp some leaves off the tree. How do I open it? How do I turn it? This is so cool. The, lots of dials and knobs here. Let's case. Okay, so we'll turn the pump back on, Badochka. That's my last name, by the way. And then how do I turn? Okay, that's not it. I'm trying to figure out how to rotate. Oh, that's an interesting one. Look at this. With this switch, that makes my arm pivot and it returns to center on its own. And what I mean by that is the switch returns to center. Aha, so this one up here is a rocker switch on E. Look at that, and then I take it F is gonna open. Nope, it's not. How about the other side? Oh my God, this is the coolest thing I have ever gotten. And I've had some really cool shit. Okay, so. You guys should see my RC bill every year. He gets it all given to him. No, he doesn't. It's cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this show. And I never say anything because everyone's like, oh, you're all bragging all the time. But you know what? Not saying this shit has also given you all the wrong impression that I've been just getting all this stuff. Crazy. I do all this because it entertains so many people around the world and me and my family. And I think that this hobby is the coolest hobby in the world. I know, people will think differently, and they're totally entitled to. That's, you know, a hobby is a hobby is a hobby. But this is one of the coolest hobbies in the world. You know, I love it. What an amazing machine. Okay, enough talking for me. Blah, 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 blah. This video is way too long as it is. Let's just, let's just have a driving scene. And then in the future, in the coming days, I'll take this out and we can have a good look at it. I thought there was a sound kit in this. I'm pretty sure there is. Gotta figure out this. What's the sound kit? I will figure it out. I wish it had a, uh, I can email them, I guess, and try to figure it out. So cool. So yes, you can only rotate it so far and it'll stop automatically. So let's come towards the camera. And then I can lower the arm. And then if I rotate it like this, this way, this way, and then I bring the arm down a bit and then I come in. Yeah, and then this track and then in. And then towards you like this. This will take some practice. Oh. And then, oh, there we go. And then if I go like this, yeah, you're mine. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see if I can pick you up. I can, oh, and there you go. <laughs> Guys, there it is. What an incredible machine. You're gonna see this in the coming uh, adventure days, of course. Uh, and I'm also gonna get my uh, Big Johnson fixed, get the new tracks in here, try to get those hydraulic rams fixed or repaired, or heck, who knows, maybe I'll even get to build a new one. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. If you liked it, of course, leave a like click. If you disliked it, that's fine. You can leave a dislike click. If you wanna comment on anything at all, you know, I'm always here. You can always comment, leave it down below. Uh, and uh, I always enjoy reading them. Do my best over the years to read as many as I can. Do my best to talk to you guys. Thank you all for your support all the way back from day one. Or if this is your first day, we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have fun with RC. You know I always do. Bye.